Rush for the treasure. Get as much valuable treasure and coins as you can. Everything counts at the end of this five round game by Richard Garfield. Draft your team of treasure hunters wisely. There are always two treasures available in each of the three seasons. Sometimes the better treasure takes fewer points to obtain than you would think. Watch out for treasure that isn't treasure at all. All players must play any and all cards from their drafted hand of nine for each season they have cards for, whether they want one of the two treasures or not. The seasons are played in order, blue being the first. All players having cards for the blue season play all their blue hero cards. The player with the highest total points at this time may be gaining the max treasure, and the player with the lowest total points may be gaining the min treasure. All players that contributed a hero to this race have an opportunity to play any enhancement cards to their heroes or pass and save them for either of the next two seasons. Playing enhancement cards can change the outcome of a race. Winners take their treasure. Those who did not have the max or the min get nothing. When all three seasons are completed, there are goblins waiting to take your treasure. Chase them off with dog cards or pay the price in coins. The player that can chase off any of the goblins gains that goblin and any coins left by other players. Goblins and coins are worth points at the end of the game. Coin cards are cashed in at the end of the round. Treasure tiles that gain you coins for cards you have played in any of the three seasons can be cashed in at this time or held onto and used at any time during a round. All cards not played are discarded. New treasure tiles are set out on the board. Goblin tiles are added to any open space. Each player is given a new hand of nine cards and drafting begins again. Treasure Hunter is for two to six players ages eight and up and plays in 35 minutes.